to share with you this afternoon is a little bit eclectic. I want to pull from a whole bunch of different sources. In today's world, for me to stand up and say, and give you one PowerPoint and say, this PowerPoint now is the marketing, what we do in marketing, is a little bit naive. Hmm. I want to give you lots of resources that you can go to and find what you need in marketing. <laughs> but first of all, we need to decide who's the marketer. Who should be marketing your, who's the, the number one person to market your school? I want to tell you that the a principal of your school is 100% responsible for marketing your school. 100%. You believe that? And your teacher is 100% responsible for marketing your school. And your pastor is 100% re responsible. And your kids are 100% responsible. And yes, John, I did teach math one time. But yet, isn't that the reality? If a parent calls your school and talks to your receptionist, and your receptionist blows them off or makes them angry, who marketed your school? And if they don't call back, how much of marketing did that receptionist do? 100%. When the parent is talking to you as the principal, and they have a problem with you, or you guys don't communicate, who's marketing your school? What percentage are you marketing at that particular time? 100%. What we need to do is get teachers to understand, to get kids to understand. A parent walks on your campus, and it's a mess. There's junk in the hallways. The flowers are dead. There's 7-Eleven cups on the front porch of the school. Is your grounds marketing your school? Is what happens in your hallways marketing your school? Absolutely. One school that I became principal at, I came to interview at the school, and I could not make it up the front steps to the school to get into the school because I got there just after uh, school was out, and it was jam-packed. It was probably... 25 feet wide and about four or five steps up into the school and and um, there were cups and hot dog wrappers and junk that deep all around the front of the school and the kids were rowdy they were running around and knocking each other around and wrestling around on the ground and I said, is this the kind of school I want to be principal of? And I almost turned around and got back in my car and drove away. Who was marketing the school that day? And 7-Eleven. <laughs> I'd like to have 7-Eleven market your school. What we do, everything we do, is a marketing tool for your school. Is communication a marketing tool? Your newsletters? Your report cards? Your website? I know of a school that got nine students last year because of their website that they would not have had had they not had a website. Nine kids. Anybody use nine kids on your campus? Let me show you some resources.
this look familiar to anybody? If there's anything I could tell you in the next hour, if you don't know anything about this website and you've not been here lately, I'll leave it there. So many times people call me and say, how do I get this resource or how do I find out about or how was I supposed to have known about even the associates in my office call and say, don't we have a, and I say yes, and you go on the NDA website, and they always hang their head. And Everything that I know, to the best of my ability, every resource that we have at the division is either on this website or connected to this website. So if you're not, this is how I market Adventist education, to you. Does that make sense? This is my, from the division, this is our way of sharing with you everything that we have. And if you don't go and find it here, anything you're looking for, this is where you should start to look. NAD, NADeducation.org. And I'll share one more before I get too far here. Um, This is another one under presentations. And I'll tell you what I, why I do it. I've thought long and hard, and I've done this many, many times, thought through this process. Um, do I put all of this information on the NAD site, or do I leave it on my site and just tell you about it? And the reason I leave it on my site and tell you about it is so that not everybody in the world sees it. And you can take these presentations off from my website. I give you full permission to take the PowerPoints and make them yours. Take my name off from them. Take any other name off from those presentations. Put your name on it. Customize it so that it fits your school and use it. We're not into propriety information in Adventist education. We're into making sure that we get the message out that we exist as a system to what? Educate kids to the best of our ability? Is that why we exist? Why do we exist? To have our kids in heaven with us, to inculcate distinctly, uniquely Adventist values into our children so that they have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. And if that's not your mission, well, we'll talk about mission. That's a big part of what I want to talk about. Here is, well, I don't know how many are in here now, lots and lots and lots and lots of PowerPoints, board orientations, and all kinds of things. Let me see if this is the one I want it to be. Nope. Um, 